this is the Eurovision Norway. I'm Håkon. I'm here with beautiful Lazara from La France. Bonjour. <laughs> How does it feel to be originated from Canada and now coming to France and representing France in uh, Eurovision? We had some other Canadians that have been representing Switzerland and won. Yeah. Will you do a replay? Well, I, f I feel it feel great, you know. Uh, I have the best of the both nations, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, f I feel very, very great. And uh, to just follow the step of Celine Dion is, I think, is wonderful. You know, sometimes I think about it, I'm like, okay, my name is forever, you know, and that your vision, you know, list. So I feel very proud. And how do people in Canada see Eurovision Song Contest? What do they know about it? Um, yeah, it's it's uh, hard because we don't have the Eurovision culture because we're not part of it in Canada. But I think maybe it's gonna change. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's uh, me. My connection with Eurovision is through my mother, who uh, listened to Marie Miriam L'Enfant et l'Oiseau when she was in Morocco, and she was singing that to me uh, when I was a child. So I have a big connection with the Eurovision through Marie Miriam. And your song, it's of course very beautiful and powerful and i love the tempo part how that how did the song uh, became for you and how do you feel about your song yourself the song was born after uh, i said yes um to uh, to friends when they asked me to be part of that adventure and like every song that i that i that i did that is in my album I wanted to make a mix from, you know, the old kind of French, you know, um, essence and the modernity, you know, since I, I was born and raised in Montreal, we have the all the American, you know, you know, uh, uh, influence. So obviously you can hear a little bit of it. And uh, yeah, the, the song was really, really easy to write. I don't know. It's, I feel like when some something is uh, meant to happen. It's gonna happen, you know. So th I have some song that it took me six months to write, and this one was three three days. We went to I went to Agadir in Morocco because one of my co-writer and producer was there. So we have the sound of Morocco. We have some French people. Uh, have like Banks and Ranks. I don't know if you know them. It's uh, they are a huge producer from Montreal. They they, they work with Dua Lupa, Sean Paul, and one of them is French. Uh, fr uh, French. So we really have that multiculturalism and uh, and that, that that song, which represents uh, greatly the society today. So I'm really really proud of this song. So you were inspired being in Morocco in Agadir. Being in Morocco, obviously it's uh, and it, it's been like 15 years I didn't go there. So with that song I went there and uh, it just it was fantastic. It was fantastic. We had the sun. We have the passion. And uh, we had other stuff. <laughs> of course. And you don't know this maybe, but in Norway we have a TV program on the national TV that actually is broadcasting the Eurovision Song Contest. And there we have a panel by experts and TV celebrities. And they are rating all the Eurovision songs from this year before the contest now. And the winner from the last program was France. And you get 12 points from all the experts in the panel. So Norway loves your song. For real? For real. I'm gonna cry. Congratulations. Oh, I'm gonna move here next year. I'm gonna be the president of the <laughs> And regarding president, how will, how will Lazara present herself on stage the 13th of May in Liverpool, on the biggest musical stage in the world? Yeah, well, uh, well um, it's gonna be Lazara for 100% sure. Uh, we're gonna, yeah, I'm gonna bring the, the, the style that represents me. It's gonna be chic, it's gonna be marvelous, and I want people just to remember, like, the, the, um, I want them to be like, wow, it was a really, really, really nice uh, performance, it was uh, breathtaking, and you know, after, after that, we can make the, the nicest stage, but if I cannot deliver, it's shit. So I need to deliver. So I, I need to be like in face with you know my myself. So it's a lot of work, but I can't wait to do that. It's a um, great opportunity to to present my art to the world. And you get to meet the other artists as well on this tour. Have you got any new friends? Have you met Alessandra, for example? Yes, I have a lot of friends now. So I can wait to have a party tonight. 
amazing. We're looking forward to seeing you in Liverpool and see you there. Good luck.